if you make pounds, euros, dollars, I may have something for you. Four easy steps to change the course of your life or have a better 2023. Step one, find a job that allows you to work from home. If you find a job that allows you to work from home, make sure they don't mind where you live. Step number two, choose your favorite holiday destination. The holiday destination has to either be in South America, Africa, Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, any country that your currency is far greater than. Step number three, due to the situations with visas, you will need four tickets, three months each. So you have to return every three months, but four tickets, three months each, to that location. If you choose the right country, 500 pounds a month is enough for you to live well, pay all your bills in that country and still enjoy yourself in that country. I'll give you an example, um, like Egypt. In 2007, from what I understood, teachers earned no more than 450 pounds when you did the conversion. I'm not too sure what they earn now because I haven't been to Egypt in a long time, but a country like that, where someone who has a decent job earning 400 equivalent pounds per month and able to sustain a family, if you go with 500 quid every month, you most definitely should be all right. But obviously you need to do your research. You need to talk to the locals when you're there. If you have any friends in these countries that you've chosen, speak to them and find out how much does it really cost to rent and get everything in order and then just to live there, right? You can say that to them or you can say how much do teachers make? How much do police officers make? Just so that you can have a clear understanding of, okay, if I set out this budget, I will be able to live there comfortably. Step number four, find storage. Let everyone that you know that loves you and cares where you're going, what your plans are, so you are safe and you can still communicate everybody knows. Try not to choose a place with a large time difference so you can still work effectively. If you do this, what you will end up doing is going to a country that you enjoy, being able to live comfortably while still saving the money that you're earning back home. You can then come back after one year and do something with it. Or you can even invest in that country if you feel you wanna stay longer or if you see any opportunities. If you are going through what we're going through right now in the UK with all the prices going up and it's getting colder, you don't have to suffer this again next year. If you plan right, you can spend six months in one country, six months in another country, come back to a bank account full of savings. Think about it. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and share.